This is a blessed day. Let's do something great today. Lord God, the robo ya devo siata. Your Holy Spirit prays for us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. In the name of the Lord Jesus in the name of Yeshua we bow and pray hallelujah glory to God bless the Lord glory to God this prayer, this prayer broadcast is one that we rely on the Holy Spirit to go forth for us because God says in his word Christ is in us the hope of glory so praying in the Holy Spirit God says when we pray in the Holy Spirit he makes intercessions for us he meets our supplication and he prays for us yes he prays for us in our weakness of not knowing what or how we should pray and we welcome the Holy Spirit to pray for us today glory to God blessings to you and I'm thankful that you are able to tune in if you view this broadcast in the replay glory to God I pray it be a blessing to you so glory to God hallelujah I like to go in also with a topic that we can agree because you know praying in the Holy Spirit you don't know what's being said but I guarantee you if you pray in the Holy Spirit it will build you up in your most holy faith and also you are allowing the Holy Spirit to pray for you in your weakness of not knowing what to pray for so the topic of meditation that we can agree on today would be to bear fruit to bear fruit that is our topic of meditation right now and um Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for your word is settled in heaven and your faithfulness is unto all generations. Lord God, I thank you that you said in your word that your word, that you hearken to your word, Lord God. The angels hearken to the voice of your word. And Lord God, you said in your word that when we abide in your word, God, we can ask you of anything that according to your divine will and you will do that for us. And so, Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for writing your word upon our heart right now, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we receive. We receive from you, Lord God. We receive. We know that is by it's a gift of grace and thank you for the unction from the power of the holy spirit so that we can go forth to do your word you said to hear but also to do glory to god so we're able to uh, allow you to work in us to will to do your good pleasure so in jesus name to bear fruit yes so that's our topic of meditation today would be to bear fruit i would also like to you know, from this day on, let's just go from this day, forgetting those things that are behind and pressing on, on into the things of God and knowing that whatever that you've done in your past, you can't change the things that you've done in your past, but you can go forth from this moment on. A lot of us, you know, when, when you know, that's why we, we asked that. We, we were really on here compelling that people come to the Lord Jesus. Even in your young age, it's okay to come to the Lord. But sometimes you, in your younger age or whatever, you didn't really have an ear to hear the things that Holy Spirit is saying. And so now in this time, in this season, you have an ear to hear. But then like some of us, you ask, you know, you wish you would have gotten it sooner. You know, you can look at the age and go, oh, wow, what am, how old am I? I should have been doing this a long time ago. I should have had fruit coming from uh, God's righteousness a long time ago and you get a little discouraged but i want to let you know it's okay forget those things that are behind and god says your ladder will be better than your former so that with that being said we just need to know that meditating on the word of god uh going forth in the things of god uh, making our confessions known before heaven, knowing that God's word will not return void, but also learning learning from God and to know those things, to know what he's saying to us and to act on those things so that we will be doers of the word and not just hearers of the word. So today the lesson would be to bear fruit. And if you would be so kind to uh, just go along with me, the scriptures that I will be meditating from would be John chapter 15, verse 16. Philippians 1 and 11, Philippians 4 and 17, Galatians 5, 22 through 24, John 12 and 24, Galatians 2 and 20, Matthew 13 and 23, Psalms 1 and 3, Colossians chapter 1, verse 9 and 10. So God's word tells us that we are chosen. That God has chosen us. He is also has appointed us to go forth to bear fruit. This is something we have to realize that God has chosen us. God has appointed us to go forth to bear fruit. To bear fruit. You, you ask, how do I bear fruit? Well, one must also be crucified in order to bear fruit. We have to be crucified. And the word of God says that we are crucified in Christ. Nevertheless, we live. Yet it's not us who live, but it's Christ who liveth in us. And the life we now live in this body, we live by the faith of the Son of God. Who The faith of 
the Son of God who loved us and gave gave himself for us. So our, our minds have to be renewed. Our minds have to be renewed to the word of God to know what God's word says. And also when we hear the unction from the Holy Spirit, hear the unction from the word of God to step out and do what God is saying and to know that God is with us and to know that God will never leave us nor forsake us. And God is with us, holding us up as we can remember when Peter was walking on the water, listening to the heat of God saying, come forth. And when he got out the boat, he began to walk on the water. And when he got his eyes off of the Lord, he began to sink. And then he cried out to the Lord, Lord, save me. And the Lord did just that. He lifted him up and saved him from drowning. But then he said to him, where is your faith? Like, why did you doubt? So during this time of us walking and stepping out on the things of God, of those things that we hear, we must keep our eyes on the Lord. We must not turn away, looking to the left, looking to the right, listening to what people say, what this person said or this and that. We should keep our eyes focused on the thing of what God has said and go forth. Go forth in the name of Jesus. Keep our eyes focused on God and what we've written down, what God has said and go forth and know that God will not... Uh, leave you nor forsake you. I was um, uh, encouraged by uh, my son in love. He had in, he had posted something on his page and it was talking about something about a, a bamboo plant and with, I, I don't want to say it wrong, but the bamboo the bamboo plant or uh, whatever. He said that there was no fruit for a long time, but then there was a, a time a period of time that this bamboo tree just grew up and drew, grew up drastically. So during those times, the point was if he would have given up during that time that uh it's you know giving up watering that time we wouldn't have seen the fruit we wouldn't have seen that bamboo tree uh sprout up but we are reminded that the word of god is water the word of god is a uh, living water and god is the one that waters us and if we don't go forth in his word every day being uh, nurtured and being uh uh you know quickened by the power of the holy spirit we can uh you know, just go on thinking, oh, wow, I don't see anything. And then you get you get weak from not being in his presence, but you get strong when you are in his presence. So that is also an encouragement to continue to go forth in the word of God. But also knowing that you must be crucified. We have to be crucified daily so the Holy Spirit can go forth in us. And our mind has to be renewed to what the word of God is saying. And we have to have our minds renewed. I gave an example of that when I talked about horoscopes before and how I was one that would look at the horoscopes and thought about the horoscopes at that time. But then when I got in the word of God and I saw that horoscopes were not were were an abomination to the Lord and he wasn't pleased with our scopes, I had to give that up, you know, and there are some who still go around talking about various different, you know, signs or this and that or whatever, but, you know, that I had to give up because that I realized that that was limiting me to saying that I was this particular person or this particular personality when God is saying I want all of that crucified and now I want you have Christ living in you and living through you so in order to bear fruit we must realize that we've been appointed by God and that we've been chosen by him and that God is the gardener and whatever we ask for in the name of Jesus according to God's will that God it is God's good pleasure to bring that into manifestation but we must also realize that God is the gardener and he also is the one that prunes and he's going to prune away each each uh, branch he's gonna bring a uh, prune us and prune and take away oh you don't need that prune that away and prune this away and prune that away you know things that are not going to b uh, bring him glory he prunes away so that we can be more fruitful and knowing that god is the gardener and knowing that he's our husband he's our maker and god is designed for us for each branch to bear fruit so glory to god we know that jesus is the vine and we are the branches and so therefore we're to bring forth fruit bring forth fruit from his indwelling and glory to god and god says for us to be filled with the fruit of righteousness and he desires for us to be fulfilled that we might that have fruit of righteousness abound into our account and then the god says this the to fruit of righteousness would be the love and the joy and the peace and the patience and the kindness and the gentleness and the faithfulness and the meekness and the self-control i shared a lesson well i shared a post yesterday when i was having my study time and it was a scripture that said that some preach Christ out of um, envy and some preach Christ out of quarrelsome, to be quarrelsome and self, and to preach Christ out of strife. So, you know, there are some who are preaching strife and preaching, being angry and being, uh, 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 just, they're just envious and they're rude and they're, they're envious and they're quarrelsome. And that is their message every day. They get on their, their sock, they get on their post and they get on their, wherever they, they go and they are preaching that they're angry and 
they're preaching against people instead of preaching Christ. And they, they wake up with an attitude and they go and they share their attitude uh, uh, before God's people. And they're preaching out of quarrelsome, of quarrelsome spirit and that is not God so to know that the love of God the love that is preached is love and joy and peace and patience and kindness and gentleness and faithfulness and meekness and self-control and that is the fruit from the Holy Spirit someone who's just having a bitter angry attitude towards someone just because they don't like a person and they be going they feel like they're gonna now use God's name to go tear down people and just constantly be in a quarrelsome uh, rude uh, manner and they think that's Christ no that's not Christ and so God is saying for us to preach out of love preach out the motivation of Christ preach out the spirit of Christ that it is about Jesus it's about his love it's about us coming to a place and knowing that we're crucified and it's no longer us but now it's Christ living through us so preaching out of uh, the uh, the Holy Spirit unction preaching where we know that those can receive the word not as it is not words of men but words of God as it is the word of God and not words of men so that is what God is telling us to do to to put away all the quarrelsome and the strife and the envy but to know that that is not that is not giving you brownie points that's not giving you brownie points when you go and you just say oh I'm gonna preach against this you know I'm gonna preach and talk about people no it's not about the people it's about Christ so glory to God the word of God says we preach Christ and not ourselves so let's know that the God is the gardener and God is going to prune away each branch that does not bear fruit. So God is saying for us to be more fruitful. Glory to God. And so God is saying that we are filled with fruits of righteousness. And that this uh, our account may abound. So glory to God. Therefore, I commit. We are to commit our way to the Lord of the Lord Jesus, so that we will be able to be moved in the spirit of love, the spirit of joy, the spirit of peace, the spirit of long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faithfulness, meekness, and self control. Self control. And so, in with that being said, we are to renounce and reject and turn from everything having to do with the flesh and the fruit of thereof of the flesh, and to know that we belong to Christ and that we are crucified. And again, that we are to crucify the affections and the lust that goes along with the flesh, that we may bear more fruit according to the Holy Spirit. And so that would be fruit of the Holy Spirit in love. So knowing that and in and understanding that to know that we are to be good ground. <laughs> we are to be good ground. Glory to God. Good ground yielding and bearing fruit good ground glory to god good ground knowing that god has breathed on us and quickened us glory to god quicken us with the power of the holy spirit to preach christ and not ourselves so glory to god good ground and that when we hear the word of god we pray for understanding and pray that the word of god will bear fruit in our lives and you know god says in his word that the the word of god will uh, bear fruit a hundred sometimes a hundred fold sometimes 60 sometimes 30 but a tree that's planted by rivers of living water shall bring forth fruit in its season so do not give up God says your leaf shall not wither and whatever you do whatever you do whatever you put your hands to it shall prosper so father in the name of Jesus we ask right now and we thank you for your grace for filling us with the power of your Holy Spirit that is our agreement point filling us with the power of the Holy Spirit that we can go forth of uh, declaring your righteousness in the spirit of love knowing that you are love and that your grace is sufficient knowing that it's all about you lord god and that we recognize that our flesh crucified crucified it with all its affections and lust according to the flesh but now god we we receive a, from the from the power of your holy spirit to yield fruit from the power of your holy spirit and to know that god says his word shall not return void in our lives. So that is our devotion today and our prayer today, that we will go forth in a place of love, that we will bear fruit and knowing that it's not over yet. Keep going forth, pressing on, in the, pressing on in the high calling in Christ Jesus, knowing that you are chosen, knowing that God has put his hand upon you, he has put his name upon you, he has put his Holy Spirit to seal you and know that God loves you with an everlasting love. So to be Bless, be blessed. You are blessed to be a blessing and make this an awesome, blossom day, knowing that God loves you with an everlasting love. Know that Jesus is Lord and Jesus lives big on the inside of you. Christ in you, the hope of glory. So be blessed.